Okay, in this video we'll be looking at measuring angles using this guy called a protractor. I'm sure you've got one of those lying around somewhere. You'll first notice that it's got two rows of numbers, two rows of angles. That's because if you're measuring an angle from the right side here, this green line will be your zero, so you'll be using this top row of numbers, in this case, to measure across this way. And if you're measuring from the left here, this pink line will be your zero, so you'll be using that bottom row of numbers in that case to measure across that way. We're going to measure these uh, three angles with this protractor, so we have to first to make sure that this center point down the bottom here is placed right at the tip of the angle. Then we make sure the bottom of the protractor is perfectly in line with one arm of the angle, so in this case we'll be measuring from the right. Okay, then we need to sort of imagine, if you're doing this on paper, you don't really want to draw every single time, so you'd imagine spinning up to where the other arm is pointing and see that the angle here is marked as 40 degrees. Okay, now notice we're measuring from the right, so we're only looking at the top row of numbers. Okay, going across to the next angle here, we once again make sure the center aligns with the tip of the angle. Then we make sure the bottom is in line with one arm, and this time we'll be measuring from the left. We imagine spinning up to where the other arm is pointing, and we're somewhere between 120 and 130 degrees, so uh, note we're measuring from the left again, so we're only looking at the bottom row of numbers. But if we look a bit closer, we'll find the angle is right at this point here, which is 123 degrees. So be careful with which row of numbers you're using, okay, that's depending on which side you're measuring from. We'll move across now to the last angle, so we'll line up the center with the tip of the angle again. Okay, this time the bottom of the protractor isn't in line with an arm, so we need to spin it a bit, and now we can measure from the right side here. Notice we want the reflex angle, but the protractor doesn't go that far directly, so we might start by just getting the acute angle inside, which in this case would be uh, 60 degrees here. Uh, then we get the reflex angle by noticing that all the way must be 360 degrees, so we must subtract the 60 we've measured to get the 300 degrees. So that's how we use a protractor to measure angles, uh, including reflex ones where you might need to do a bit of subtraction. And that's how you measure stuff though. Thanks for watching, see you around.